What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a barbecue sauce review, if you hadn't read the title. It is manufactured by Sticky Finger Smokehouse from South Carolina. You can find it at stickyfingerssauce.com. It is a Sticky Finger Smokehouse Southern Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce. Excuse me. Now this is not a sugar-free sauce, so the masses will probably appreciate this uh, review more than the other ones, but you know, I like doing sugar-free stuff too. Some of this stuff's good. You know, just because it doesn't have sugar doesn't mean it ain't good. I like water and it doesn't have sugar in it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's nutrition facts, 15 servings per container, two tablespoons a serving, calories of 45 per serving, which means there's 675 calories in this whole bottle. And nine grams of sugar in a serving, 360 milligrams of salt, 11 grams of carbs. Um, so we'll read the write up on the side here. Well, it says pair with uh, pork, chicken, pork, beef, and chicken. Refrigerate after opening. And okay, now we'll read the write up here. It says we've been perfecting the craft of low and slow cooking over aromatic hickory wood since we opened our first smokehouse in South Carolina decades ago. Our sweet and spicy sauce fuses southern cooking traditions with all the swelter of a summer Carolina night. It's the perfect balance of sweet smokiness with a lip tingling touch of heat that will keep you coming back for more. I hope it does. Now the ingredients are as follows, <clears throat> water, sugar, tomato paste, distilled vinegar, molasses, salt, contains less than 2% of aged cayenne red pepper, dextrose, modified cornstarch, apologize for the wind, spice, dried garlic, caramel, caramel color, xanthan gum, corn syrup, <coughs> me, natural smoke flavor, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, as preservatives, maltodextrin, dried onion, natural flavor, tamarind, celery seed, which I really like, and autolyzed yeast extract, whatever the hell that is. I probably just don't even want to know what they do to it. I'm just, I just don't want to know. If you knew how half, what was in half your food, you probably wouldn't want to eat nothing, including vegetables. Because who knows what the hell they spray on those things. Anyway. Give us a good shake and shake. Yeah, I know I go off on different tangents in this video. Yeah, I, I do a hot sauce reading next time. I'll be talking about uh, any, anything. Anyway, here we go. Here's your consistency check. Yeah. Not, not bad. I'd say you might be on a touch on the thinner side, but that's sealed off. And let's give this baby the smell test. Okay, I definitely get the sweet. I smell the tamarind. I get ketchup smell from the tomato and I get tamarind. Tamarind is a, I like tamarind. I don't really get it much of a spicy. I don't even know what's in here that would be spicy. I guess the cayenne red pepper, but cayenne pepper, but. It's more sweet than spicy smelling. <clears throat> and I definitely smell that tamarind. Remember the, I remember them tamarind Doritos I had that time. Oh, I wish they'd bring those back. They were so good. Here's our, there's our uh, pour. It is a little thicker than I thought it was. So there it is on the spoon. My bottle. And here we go, from Sticky Fingers Smokehouse. Smokehouse. Southern Sweet Spicy Barbecue Sauce. Cheers. has got a really I think it's the tamarind giving it that flavor it's interesting to say the least My bottle, just not sure if I want it to be yet. No offense to Sticky Finger Smokehouse, but. <clears throat> okay. I would go without the tamarind. Um, it's sweet and spicy. The tamarind really isn't doing much in either one of those senses. 
I mean, it is, I get, it is sweet, but it's that tamarind. That tamarind is just a, I don't know how to explain the flavor. Oh, killed an ant on my tripod, almost tipped my camera over. Anyway, it's just giving it a really, I don't want to say off flavor, but it's giving it an off flavor. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, it's my bottle. Nope. Out to, not against Sticky Fingers Smokehouse. I'm, I'm going to have to put some in here to spice it up a little bit because I'm not getting any spice. It's just ketchup sweet from the molasses and it, it's that tamarind just giving it an odd flavor. Damn, I had high hopes for this too, man. I really did because I like their sugar. Their sugar free sauce is better than this. Um, it is what it is though. Um, Sticky Finger Smokehouse Southern Sweet Spicy Barbecue Sauce. Heat, zero. Flavor, No, I wouldn't buy this again, but I am going to give it a 6 out of 10 on flavor. If it wasn't for that tamarind, it'd probably be a 7 or, or 8, maybe. But that tamarind just giving a really odd, like, aftertaste. I don't like it. I don't, it's hard to even describe what tamarind even tastes like. It's like a sweet, like, I don't want to say bitter, but it's just a, it's just a unique flavor. I like it. Like, Tamarind Doritos have were good, but it's not good in the barbecue sauce. I, I wouldn't buy it again. It almost gets like a, I almost get like a, it's getting like a licorice flavor. Yeah, I don't like it. Sticky Finger Smokehouse, Southern Sweet Spicy, Southern Sweet Spicy Barbecue Sauce. Yeah, I give no heat. Six on flavor, but I wouldn't buy it again. I just the tamarind and it's just not. It's not good. It's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's not good. It's kind of giving it a like anise, like licorice flavor, and I don't like licorice, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that again. If you wanna try it, go ahead, but mm, I would rather buy the sugar-free. Anyway, with that said, hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time.